so today I thought that I would film a writing update. Recently, I've gotten the urge to work on my fantasy novel and I don't know why, it just, it, it, it's overcome me. My hands are itching to write me some fantasy and I've talked about this book before. Basically for a little bit of backstory on this project, um, I've kind of had it brewing in my head for about a year and a half to two years. Um, I've been trying to think about it. I've had these characters for a long time. They're Avalana and Caro, and I love them. Love them, love them, love them so much. They're, they're like honestly my favorite characters, and I haven't even written their story yet, which is insane. But basically, I just, I love them so much, and I just feel so bad that they don't have a story to live in. Uh, they're kind of just floating around in my head, and I, I feel bad. They deserve a home, like, a, a nice home. <sighs> so I'm trying to figure out a plot. I've gone through so many plot variations. Basically, this whole notebook is dedicated to all the different plots. Like, it's, it's, it's this full <laughs> with garbage plots pretty much um but i've decided because i was trying to make this novel a fantasy and i realized i'm not good at writing fantasy or creating fantasy stories and that's why i normally stick to contemporary so i thought what's kind of the perfect kind of center point between fantasy and contemporary and i kind of decided on urban fantasy so urban fantasy if you guys do not know is basically um a story set in real life so in a real world with humans and blah 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 and there's magical elements so either supernatural beings or some magic and basically it's where magic or creatures live amongst humans and in the real world. Um, examples of this are, I think, is the Bitten series by Kelly Armstrong. Maybe, maybe the Mortal Instruments, I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, so I think that this is the perfect genre for me to try and dabble in because fantasy is just too much for my brain to handle at this point in my life. I just, I don't have enough experience to even try and comprehend how to do that and i'm just trying to come up with a plot because i love these characters and they deserve a story and yeah so i wrote a scene today it's right here i don't know if i'm gonna end up using it this is all full of random scenes that i've written for the story um i don't know if this is gonna actually end up in the story because i don't know if it's gonna end up fitting the plot that i have but i actually really really like it so i'm not gonna read the whole thing to you but i kind of want to read you a little bit of it okay i'm gonna read you i'm gonna read you a paragraph avalana glanced back down at her open palms the skin was rough and calloused from the times she gripped the dagger with the intention of plunging it deep into the hearts of any willing human to cross her path yeah so i think i, I don't know um, it's almost a page long, and I, don't know, I just have a bunch of these little scenes here and there that are kind of from each phase of the different plots that I've had, and I'm sure from each of them I could pull something into the story that I end up writing, but basically right now um, I'm just trying to think of some ideas. So I'm thinking something along the lines of Ava has magic, she possibly is a witch or something. And I think that her magic is going to have to do with the mind, and I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know if this is actually a thing, or if I'm just making it up, which I guess is fine, because it's fantasy. Um, but she has, like, mind magic, so she can manipulate people, and she can, you know, change their memories, and take away memories, put in memories, and all that kind of stuff. And I think that I could do a lot with that concept. Um, and it, I, yeah, I don't want to say anything too specific, but I came up with an idea kind of for the ending of the book, um, and it's kind of the possible ending for if there's going to be more books to this book. I want her to, I want Ava to be in, like, have magic, and I want her to be the one to introduce Caro, because normally 
the main character is the one being introduced to the world, not the one that knows the world, you know? So I kind of wanted to switch that around because I didn't want Caro to introduce her to, to the world because, again, that's just too cliche. So I changed it a bit, and hopefully this idea works. But I want her to introduce him to the world, and for that to happen, I want her to be practicing magic in the forest or something along those lines, and I want him to be in the forest. I want him to be like collecting berries or something for a recipe for his mom or like for something I don't know um, and I want him to see her do magic and be like what are you doing and I want her to kind of bring him into her world because she has no other choice she can't just let him roam free knowing about magic and so I don't really know what I'm going to do with this, I don't know what the huge conflict is or anything, and I hope that it comes to me, because I really want to plot this out and write this for NaNoWriMo in November. Um, if you guys did not know, I am not participating in April at Camp NaNoWriMo this year. It's just not a thing that can happen, I'm just far too busy with school and I just don't want to add another thing onto my plate that will stress me out so I'm just not doing it. I still will be writing and plotting and whatever throughout the month, you know, but I'm not actually going to be participating in Camp NaNoWriMo. I possibly will be in July, but my main focus for NaNoWriMo this year is November and I really want to do this one and Jenna Moresi just posted a new video today as I'm filming this, it is March 8th, and she filmed a video on how to outline your novel and I really like how she explained it and I highly recommend all of you go over to her channel, subscribe if you aren't already, and uh, watch that video because it was phenomenal. Um, and I really just want to plot this novel that way, but first I, I need like a solid idea <laughs> and, you know, stuff. And I'm just having a hard time coming up with that. And I feel like what I need is like a question, like a what if question. But I can't think of a what if question because my brain is just fried from schoolwork. It's like I'm trying so hard to think of a question or some sort of story premise and I just, I, I can't. I can't and it bothers me. How do people write? Because I certainly do not know how to write. Why can't I be a better writer? Lately I've been having a really, really hard time writing. And I think it's because I haven't really written since November. Um, and I struggled a lot in November. I still won NaNoWriMo, but I struggled to win NaNoWriMo. And I've just been editing Lost Girl since. So I haven't really, you know, been physically writing anything. And it's become an issue because I don't know how to form words anymore. Writing that scene today was the first thing that I've properly written in a long time. And also there's a part of me that kind of wants to start writing this and just see where it goes. But in the past when I've tried doing that before I found booktube and author tube, I didn't know about outlining. I didn't think about outlining too much and I just kind of went with it and then I never finished anything because I ran out of fuel, I ran out of ideas. And ever since I started properly outlining, I finished two novels, right? So I, I really want to actually write this and finish it. And I'm just, oh, I'm having so many issues. Do you guys have any tips on how to form ideas and how to like come up with this or if you are you know a more experienced fantasy writer than I am please leave me your tips down below on how you come up with your ideas because I am so so lost. Yeah, I think that's it for this writing update. I was hoping that talking through it would give like give me some more ideas. Fortunately it didn't but that's fine. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Give this video a huge, huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.